this building here, just this building, is the oldest building here in the center of town. Uh, St. Albans uh, has been serving the community for 120 years. That's pretty special. If you want a warm and friendly church that preaches from the Bible, that's the core for the, for the church is the Bible. And we can draw strength from it. And uh, when Father John gives his homilies, he, he brings those points out to us and tells us it's just not something written many years ago. It's what's happening in the world today. It's what's going on in our lives today. And uh, he does a very good job of it. My favorite part on Sundays are the sermons with Father John. They're not long, but they're not short, but they get to the point. Sometimes they're funny, and sometimes they like hit you deep, you know? I had been at my previous church for 36 years, and sometimes it's just time to move on and to try something different. And the first Sunday I came here and sat in a pew, Father John talked about hearts on fire for Jesus, and I wrote it in my Book of Common Prayer. Um, and it really, I, I just left here with this wonderful sense of warmth and love of Jesus. And uh, I just think that if people come here will feel enveloped, they feel love, and they'll feel that God is really with them. We had two miscarriages. The doctor told us, you're getting older, because we did start later in life. You're getting older, and if you're gonna keep trying, keep trying. Uh, and either that night or shortly thereafter, I know I was given a vision that I was pregnant. Um, Deacon Betty later confessed that she had a vision that day that I was pregnant. And that third pregnancy resulted in Joshua, mm -hmm. who is now 17 years old, or will be very shortly. Mm -hmm. Very, very fulfilling experience, very spiritual. Comfortable church. And I don't think people feel pressured or get, they, they're not pushed into something. They, they're allowed to grow a little. We are. <laughs> it, it's been a tremendous growth. I'm in the healthcare professions, and always before I was so hesitant about bringing up faith in healing. And now I've really changed in the way that I express that to people. I don't hesitate to talk about Jesus, I don't hesitate to talk about prayer, which before I was always very scientific about how I approach patient care. A little emotion. Um, St. Albans to me is a great church. It's, it really does benefit the community. I've been, since I've been going, we've done a lot of stuff with the youth. Um, I have traveled around to other churches, I would say. And so far I've seen St. Albans being one of the better ones that with the youth and with its church family. And so I would try to teach my friends they, um, saying, if you want to have a really good time with God, learn with the, your religion and better it, I would go to St. Albans. Well, coming to St. Albans um, led me to a church camp called Camp Wingman. And there I met a bunch of other kids my age who um, go to church. And with them, we did activities about Christ, with Christ, and it was a lot of fun. Camp Wingman, uh, um, I love it. It's amazing, and it really helped me grow in my faith. I, I met a lot of good people there. All of them are just, they're great people to look to as I grow up. I'd just like for everyone to know that we're here for Auburndale. My family's been enriched by this church and given so much that we will sustain for the rest of eternity through this church. And we're here for the rest of eternity, for Auburndale, for all the generations that will come after us. I just think that um, I'm glad that the church has been around for 120 years. I hope that it continues into infinity.